Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the video out for today for Vlogmas, but don't you worry, I'll be back tomorrow with an exciting, festive filled video. In the meantime, we're back to Aaron's channel for what can only be described as a filler episode. So, enjoy. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Vlogmas. Now, don't anyone tell you otherwise. Vlogmas is tough, especially when you're running your own practice like me and Rachel are. So, unfortunately, a bit of a change of plan, but not to worry. We have some content for you. In fact, I've got content on exactly why or how I'm recording this content. This content? I've got content. So I've got content on exactly what is behind recording, editing, everything else. Um, I was lucky enough that last week, two weeks ago, um, I took ownership of a brand new laptop. And this laptop has completely changed the way that I not only help accounts and do my accounting work, but also my training and my video editing and all the other aspects of my day-to-day -day life. So apologies for a slight change of schedule, but please do enjoy today's content where we go through and we look at my brand new laptop. So yeah. Um, if you like this content, then remember to like, subscribe and all that jazz. And don't forget as well, uh, tomorrow we're back to normal schedule. And I believe we're back to normal schedule tomorrow. So you should see a day in the life of James kicking ass. So enjoy the rest of this content. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time for us. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Don't you know? Well, hello there. So, a bit of a rare treat on the uh, vlog channel to be on this main camera. I thought it was necessary given what we're about to do. So, today we're going to unbox this bad boy. So for this part of the vlog, we're going to unbox this bad boy now. A bit of a story into what we've gone for here. So this is, and you can come at me as much as you want, but this is the case. This is the most powerful laptop in the world. Um, especially, I know that if you kind of talk to anyone in the Windows world, then they will say to you that, Yes, you can get uh, more powerful Windows laptops that have, you know, dedicated GPUs and everything else. But for me, a laptop is something that you can actually use on your lap and you don't have to be tethered to power. And that's exactly what you get here. So let's have a look and see what we went for. Now, this laptop itself took a long time to arrive. Um, I literally ordered it on the day which was, which was the 18th of October. Given today's the 24th of November, kind of gives you an indication of how long it took for this. And I ordered this on the 18th of so. So what do we have here? Well, we have the MacBook Pro. Um, in the end, I went for the 16 inch model because I thought to myself that if I am going to be using this in laptop mode, then the, the extra real estate would be pretty nice to have. Um, and it's the intention of this one is to replace my outgoing 16 inch MacBook that I have in here. Now, this MacBook Pro has been all right for me, but it has also had a lot of issues, problems and everything else went with it. Now, in theory, that's not down to Apple, that's down to Intel. So this is an Intel-based machine. This is one of the Apple M1 chips. Well, actually one of the M1 Max chips is in here. Now, I'm not getting rid of this, this other 16-inch completely. I'm going to be putting this onto, um, or I'm going to reconfigure the settings on here. I'm going to move it. At the moment, it has Windows 10 on it, but I'm going to upgrade that to Windows 11. And I'm going to leave the rest of it on here. More so because it's going to be going forward, kind of a secondary editing suite if I need it, an ingestion machine, and also a Windows 11 machine if I you know, need to jump over to Windows 11 world, or Windows world in total. Um, and then that should leave me with two very capable machines. But this 
will become my main computer. One thing I do like about the new packaging that's been going recently is this move to this paper element here. It's so much nicer. Just so we've seen it, everything else we're getting in it, we have got the return of a MagSafe, which I'm so so about, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was one of the few that really cared about MagSafe from the back, but I get it, I understand it. Um, and the aim, well, the purpose of MagSafe for me would be when it's, I suppose, when we're out and about, it does give me a chance to charge the laptop. My MagSafe going forward. Um, if I was out of the bag, just give you that little bit extra safety. So that's going to go straight into my bag. Um, and that's something we will do there. Oh, very nice. So I get the, the black Apple sticks with stickers with this one, which I'm very, very happy with. Normal papers. And your power break now. Again, liking to see the, the papery substance on here. Much, much nicer. I'm looking forward to when they can get rid of the cellophane wrap around the, the laptop as well. But for now. Now the cool thing about this power brick is, is the 140 watt option. Um, and it's one hefty power brick. Look how big that one is. Okay, so the laptop itself. Overall, it's definitely thicker. It's definitely heavier than the laptop that's replacing. In fact, Without further ado, let's see that laptop. So size-wise, you can see it's much thicker. The bottom one is the new M1 Max version, and the top one is the old Intel version. You see, much, much thicker and heavier as well. Some nice little details there you can see. Etched on the bottom is the word MacBook Pro. I think that looks really nice. Both of them have Apple laptop logo at the top. Both have the little lip on. One of the big differences is we have the IO. So again, some people are happy about this. I'm not, that, it doesn't bother me. Again, this is a situation where some people are absolutely ecstatic about, but you've got your SD card coming back, which is useful, especially when you are editing on the go. I can, I can definitely see that one. You lose one USB, C slash Thunderbolt for a full HDMI. Now, for me personally, that makes no real sense to me other than the fact that um, I suppose if you're chucking this into a projector, it's handy to have, but I'm used to just having all those dongles with me. I guess now if you have forgotten your dongle, you're going to be okay. But then, yeah, that's just a little extra there. And on the other side, then we have our two USB C slash Thunderbolts, which is fantastic to see the MagSafe adapter, and then we've got the ability here to be able to have your headphone jack, uh, which has been updated nicely. For comparisons, there is the MacBook Air. So this has the M1 architecture in it as well. So M1 is basically the replacement for the Intel variant. And the reason I went for this, and the reason it was a no brainer, was because uh, how impressive impressed I have been with this. So this M1 MacBook Air has their M1 architecture, but zero fans and not a single fan in here. Um, it's in fact the same chip now that's in the iPad Pro as well, which is fantastic. 
but actually this device, this small M1 MacBook Air, in, in a lot of circumstances can outperform the 16 inch, absolutely beefed out Intel version. And honestly, it's a little bit scary how this MacBook Air with zero fans can last literally all day, no problem whatsoever. Um, can run pretty much any task you want to throw at it. The only thing that it struggles at is video editing. Um, and for most people, you'll be fine with your video editing on here. But for me, um, with having 4K streams, having a lot of screen capture and everything else that goes with it, then it does make sense to have a bit more of a beefier machine to be able to get the most out of it. So let's turn it on for the first time. Love to hear the uh, chime coming back. That's probably the most controversial element of this one is the notch at the top. Personally, I'm just happy to have the extra real estate in terms of screen, so it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But that little notch at the top has been something that com that's complaining about some. Keyboard wise, it's a slight variance. As you can see, there's now a black area over it compared to the silver background here. I think it looks really nice. Um, and the touch bar has gone completely, which we'd lost already on the air. And to be honest, it wasn't something I'd missed too much. So I'm not going to cry too much sleep over that. All right, I'm going to spend some time getting this set up, getting things downloaded for it and everything else that goes with it. And I'll catch you all in a moment. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everything Okay, so a bit of an update on how I found it with my first uh, two weeks is it now? What we are on the yeah, two weeks, isn't it? Just, just over two weeks. How I found the first two weeks. Now, first of all, it generally is the most powerful laptop in the world. Um, you can, uh, again, I tried to say in there, you can argue that from a PC point of view, you could probably spec it up to have a PC equivalent desktop kind of equivalent laptop but they're not laptops like if you can't just use them as laptops they're not laptops um but this this machine is absolutely brilliant the most important thing for me about this whole experience is two parts to it first one is there's no fans whatsoever so i can do live streams i can do client meetings i can do any meeting and i'm not having to constantly have this whirling a streaming of, of of fans and that was a big thing for me like the moment that i got onto having my macbook air and i saw the future of not having to worry about a fan was huge now this bad boy has a fan in it has plenty of fans in there but i've never been able to whirl them up so you know maybe it's because i'm not pushing them as far as they need to i don't know what the reason exactly is going to be and it's never whirled at once the old MacBook Pro 16 that I've still got and I still use, the fans were on all the time. So it's having that ability not to have to worry about the fans coming on. That's number one. Number two for me as well is, as I've said, the video editing. Um, you know, I'm more than happy to jump in for today's Vlogmas and to get a video out because I can just churn a video out in no time. As long as I've got the footage, which is normally the bit that takes the longest, um, I have zero slowed down, I have zero worries about getting the footage and editing the footage in a quick and efficient manner because it just burns through it. I can edit, I can uh, cut it all, I can render it, 
in absolutely no time at all and it's scary how quick it is it really is scary um it, it just makes my workflow so much better and, and for those two alone it completely makes it worthwhile now yes it probably is overkill for an accountant to use the most powerful laptop in the world but I'm gaining out of it because I'm quicker at being able to turn around my videos. I'm quicker at being able to produce other content that I need to produce. So it is justifiable for me in that point. Would I recommend it for every accountant out there? Honestly, the most impressive machine you can ever get at the moment is this MacBook Air. Just be careful though, because they are no doubt going to be updating this now. This is actually now the old style if you look at kind of the style and everything else that goes with it, this is their old style now. This is the outgoing way in which aesthetically it looks. Only having the two USB-C ports there, etc. If we, if the rumours are to be true, and when this gets an upgrade, this will be an absolute no-brainer. They're talking about what's called an M2 chip, which means that this is going to have an even more powerful thing. It doesn't need any more power, not at all. Um, what it does need though is just that little bit of a an uplift i think in terms of aesthetically how it is if they were able to get this looking very much like that mount pro there you want to have to be winner so my recommendation is to kind of hold fire really or get yourself an m1 um mount gear i think you cannot go wrong with this machine absolutely love it um, but if you do any form of video editing, you may just want to go and treat yourself to the, um, the MacBook Pro. This is more than capable of doing most video editing, as I said in the video. But there are certain situations, like I have a lot of multicam setups and things like that. Um, I'm constantly trying to add more elements to it, trying to add more special effects, trying to do all this on my main channel videos. I'm trying to up the bar of the quality and everything else, try and compete basically with other people doing content like mine. Um, so for me, having that extra horsepower and that extra element is important. Also, our next step is our training platform, which we, you know, we've been teasing and looking at doing for a long time now. Well, part of that training platform is we're looking into VR. So if you kind of look to the left here, you'll see there, I've got my VR unit just there, and that does need power. So yeah, that's kind of where it comes from. Right, so there it is. I mean, so far, it's just, it's mind blowing. I mean, again, when I compare it to the top of the line MacBook Pro that I had before compared to this, the, the jump in performance, the jump in reliability and the jump also, which is really important to me, of having that mobile performance is just out of this world. Now I know that I can just take that machine with me wherever I go and I can continue to do the work. Whereas before, with that machine, unless I was plugged in, I was never getting the same performance. And that to me, kind of, a laptop is always based on what performance you have not plugged in. If you're on a plane or you're on a train, you can't plug yourself in. You need to kind of leave those certain, certain situations or you'll need to leave those particular elements for over time so for me a laptop is something that you can record and edit and rely on when it's not on power so if i'm on the train or i'm at an airport or something like that and i need to edit something to get something out then i shouldn't have to be relying on having to plug in to be able to get the same performance and for me that's where that element doesn't work for me and that's where this new m1 process is just surreal so yeah exciting times ahead and it does mean as well hopefully that means i can start achieving a, 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 up in that quality putting in more elements of it having the time to spend because i know that my videos are going up in quality but they're not at the quality i want yet and i feel like time is always going to be the thing that holds me back so i can only put an x amount of time into editing videos on a daily or weekly or monthly basis if i have a machine that means i can edit quicker edit more efficiently and edit smoother and have no problems with it then i'm on to an absolute winner so that to me is where having that machine is worthwhile so yeah i'm an accountant 
with the world's most powerful laptop. Hmm, sounds good. Right, I'm rambling on now. So I'm gonna leave this as it is now. I'm gonna get, need to get this edited, need to get this up for tomorrow. Again, hopefully tomorrow we'll be back to where we should be in our vlogs. Um, and I'm really looking forward to a day in the life of James. I think that's a really exciting look at it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, my next vlog that I'm posting, if it all goes to plan, is quite a special one as well. Um, as long as it goes according to plan. Um, I've got a bit of a, a unique day in the life of um, with someone who's part of the, uh, part of the family. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on that one. I think coming up, we've got some really good day in the life of between me and Rachel. So definitely keep out of it. All right, take care of yourself, stay safe. I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe to Rachel's channel. This is technically Rachel's video. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Oh, it's time for us. Oh, it's time for Christmas. Don't you know? Chances of the year To try to make it right You have to see it clear We all need a helping hand To put our things aside It's time to take a stand With our eyes open wide Maybe